this debris is flying past me. I'm assuming that it's uh, junk. Junk. Leftover from your treatment. Uh, again, we've taken. We have three big hives, and we've taken out two, three splits from really predominantly two hives, being this one and that one, and they're still doing unreal. No, oh, I see a queen cell already. Nothing in it, so hopefully it's just a practice cell. Another queen cell, but nothing in it. Oh, a little queen cell down in the corner. Capped? No. Nothing in it. This is the one that we're sending some resources is over to a diff another hive that's not doing as well. So lots of swarm cups, but nothing in them. So there's the swarm cells in the corner. Okay, what we have is a swarm here. My girlfriend Michelle is helping because it happened to land in her yard. Peter's in the hive now and apparently there's seven queen cells in there. So I'm not quite sure how many queens we actually have. You can see them here. Thanks to Michelle, she's cleaned that up for us a bit. And now we just got to figure out how to get them down from there. Apparently the branch is soft enough that we can pull it towards us. And we've got some actual comb in it with some honey. So the bees will smell that and hopefully come down. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about a swarm we had. Um, I had a hive that after we did our formic acid mite treatment, um, we returned after the two weeks and couldn't find the queen. It's our hive six, which is a split up on the Fraser River here in Delta. Um, so then we decided to pull some frames for one of our big hives. So I pulled a frame of eggs, inserted it into that hive, uh, returned a week later, or just over a week later, and they had 28 queen cells, 14 per side. Um, we then on left- On one frame. Yes, both sides, uh, 14 per side on one frame. Um, so we edited those down and only kept the two largest cells. Um, we returned, I guess, almost two weeks later. We found a queen. Um, she was returned, she was nice and big and plump. So I marked her with a, you know, a blue dot on the Saturday. Um, and then the following Wednesday, I got a call at work from a friend who has the hives on his property saying, I think your bees just left. Um, so I went, I took off work, came home and found the swarm in the neighbor's yard, which is also a good friend of ours property. Um, we caught that swarm and I really didn't want seven hives. So out at the farm where we have two of our hives, um, the young lady who's the daughter of the owners was interested in beekeeping. So I've given her the hive. She's bought her own equipment and it's right beside our two hives and kind of teaching her what I know. It's already been a year, so teaching her all my mistakes. Um, and she's enjoying beekeeping and hopefully after this COVID, she's interested in getting into taking some courses and uh, kind of helping her along and it's a great little place. They are really pissed. Ready? Oh, okay, well, that didn't work either. Don't drop it.
We just found the queen. So she must have flown off. So we're gonna... And we've got her in a cage. So they're all gonna swarm around her. And now that we have her here, um, they'll all slowly custer into this hive. So they will all come to this box now that we have her out of the tree. That's just awesome. Woohoo! Are you gonna come back later tonight to let her out or are you gonna leave her overnight? What's the plan? I think we will leave her. I don't know. Good question. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk about it later and uh, after we've relaxed a bit and we'll come back. So during the swarm catching, we kept catching this, you know, putting the, the net up, knocking the bees into it, dumping them into a box. Um, and we did this over and over again, over an hour. Um, and we were just kind of sitting waiting and resting. The bees kept returning to the tree. And all of a sudden I looked on the box and here was a marked queen uh, as we were sort of getting ready to go home for dinner for a little bit and give it a break. Here's the queen sitting on top of the box. So we put her in a queen clip and left her, came back two hours later and all the bees were in the box and we packed it up and moved it that night after dusk. So today our bees swarmed and then... This is one of our splits. Um, they cut off the branch of the tree and the bees. I just magically caught the queen, put the bees in a new box and it seems calm now. Is it, a box of bees, all right. is it heavy? Yeah. 